Today we're going to look at using a simple MOS current mirror. And the idea is that we're going to create a voltage reference as we did in the last set of slides. And we're going to mirror the current to the other side of the reference. So we remember using a diode connected transistor to create a bias voltage VB. We're going to connect that bias voltage VB to a MOS transistor that's not diode connected. And this is going to result in some output current coming out of the MOSFET as long as the voltage across the M2 device is greater than the saturation voltage for the transistor. Okay, so the basics of this simple MOS current mirror are that the output current I out is equal to the reference current I ref if VDS1 is equal to VDS2 and I should say or lambda is equal to zero. Now even if VDS1 is not equal to VDS2, if lambda is small, then the output current should approximate the reference current. Okay, the reason for this difference is if we look at the equation for the drain current for MOSFET 1, it should be the following. If we look at the drain current for MOSFET 2, it's the following. Okay, so we can see where the difference uh, could possibly arise. If lambda was big, in other words, the output resistance of the transistor was small, then we'd get a significant contribution from these two lambda times VDS terms. Of course, if lambda is zero, then the expressions are identical, assuming that the geometries of the transistors are identical. However, we can use this to our advantage. So we have two cases that we can look at. One case is where transistor M1 is equal to M2. And what we're saying here is that really W over L1 is equal to W over L2. If this is the case, then we get I out is approximately equal to I ref. But we don't want to waste a lot of current in generating bias voltages. We want to send uh, only waste current where we need to waste current, which is the output currents. So one thing that we can do is to make M2 a multiple of M1. And if we do this, we would have W over L2 is equal to N times W over L1. Note that this doesn't have to be an integer then we would get that the output current I out is equal to N times the reference current. In the next set of slides, we're going to look at using a bipolar transistor as a current mirror and mirroring to multiple transistors.